Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Tis my pleasure, nay, tis my privilege, nay, tis my honour to cast for you today. Coming to you live from London, England. It's your host with the most, Mr. Shanksy. How the devil are we, boys and girls? Welcome one, welcome all. Oh, yeah. All right, boys and girls, special uh, special thing today. What we're going to be doing is kicking off with a little bit of Marvel Strike Force. We're also going to upload this to YouTube. So if we, you're watching on YouTube, what's happening, boys and girls? Uh, this was filmed yesterday, or maybe a couple of days ago, depending on when you're watching it on YouTube. But we are going to be doing basically a live stream. Uh, we are going to be going through a Blitz rotation. We're going to be going through some Dark Dimension. Raids are already done. Um, arena, possibly. I think we need to do a little bit in the arena. And then we'll see where we go from there. So, let's get into it. Yo, Seven Balls, what's going on, baby? How the devil are we? Righteous heathen as I live and breathe. What is cooking? Good looking. All right, we'll start off with a little bit of arena. Rank one. All right, sweet. We won't do any arena. Don't worry about that. That, that weren't even a flex either, guys. That weren't even like, oh, yeah, check me out. Rank one. That weren't. That's, all right. Well, it, it is what it was. But it wasn't meant to be that. <laughs> so uh, we're going to have to go through a blitz rotation. I think what we'll do, though, uh, for those of you watching on YouTube, if you guys are just interested to start with on the Dark Dimension side of things, we'll start what, uh, start with that. Sure, it wasn't a flex. It wasn't, but it ended up being that way. And I can live with that. <laughs> Yo, sir, now's what's going on. Raven, what is cooking? Good looking. How are we getting on, girl? All right, let's uh, let's start with this one. Uh, so we've got Ultron in the in the mix now, guys. So what we're going to do is have a little look, and I think what we're going to do is probably take out Punisher, you know, for Ultron. Probably take out Punisher mainly because Ultron can call into minions. Punisher's got some really nice AOE damage. Uh, Thor's got a stun, so Thor has got a stun. That's why I'm keeping Thor in there. And you never know that stun might seriously help. Right, seriously help. Billions, how's it going, man? You good? Doing really good. Just ordered food. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What'd you order, girl? I don't know why. Food would be really good today. I woke up early. Woke up early, jumped in the shower, made some food, listened to some YouTube motivational speaking. It's always handy. Feel like everyone needs a little bit of motivational speaking right now, right? Feel like everyone needs it. Alright, hopefully they will carry on targeting Phoenix. We didn't really want her to get the torn up. There we go. Ultron's gone. Get the heal. Get the minions. Oh, man. Alright, we're taking out one. Uh, let's see if we can get Black Panther. I feel like that's as good as it's going to get. I feel like that's as good as it's going to get. Yo, Kayla, what's going on? Xenocide, wakey, wakey, hands off, snakey, baby. Uh, TMNT delivery service. What's TMNT? How much am I looking forward to Dark Dimension 3? That much. <laughs> I am fucking shit in it. <laughs> Teenage, Ninja Mutant, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It works for me, baby. It works for me. That's nunchucks and pizza. Mm, 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 mm. Right, so what we're going to do, put in Shield Security. We're going to put in Punisher. We're going to put in Black Bolt. And that'll do. Get rid of Thor, get rid of Ultron. Quarantine has done some amazing things for me, not going to lie. I'm in such a good mood lately. Go, that's awesome. DD3 is a, a pain in the dick. I start Node 4 tomorrow. Dude, congratulations on uh, on getting through so much so far, man. I feel like I'm going to be trapped on Node 3 for like a million years. Maybe not a million years, but maybe not much past that. <laughs> like quite a few. A couple of hundred thousand years. Ridiculous. Are we even going to get a go here? We are. Right. We should be able to kill three of them. 
Black Bolt didn't even get a go. Such a waste of time. Such a waste of time even bringing him in. Right. 11, no. 11, 11 people down in Dark Dimension 3. 11. 11 down in Dark Dimension 3, no 3. Slowly getting there, baby. Slowly getting there. So, right. What type of attacks did we do? 2.6 million with the 4. 2.05 uh, with the, the full team. That makes a great deal of sense. Uh, and 33 million damage left. Yay. Yay. Right. Let's talk. Real talk. Right. Blitz bots. Let's talk about blitz bots, guys. So, I managed to score uh, 900. I, I managed to place 937th. Um, in this whole, uh, whole bloody thing, right? 78 million, 76, 70, 68, 59, 56, 56. These are more than double my score so far. 56 with Widowmaker, 55, 55, 55, 54, 54, 54, 54. You're telling me these are legit? Like, every single one of these is legit. I reckon, and this is no word of a lie right now, right? I reckon 1,500 of the top 2,000 are using Blitzbots. True story. I reckon about 1,500 are using Blitzbots. Yo, Croc, what's going on, man? How are we doing? Just pulled two War Maidens in a row. Very nice indeed. Yo! Thank you very much for that follow, baby. Welcome on into the Wolfpack, the home of Beards Banter and below average gameplay. How are you getting on today? Like, what is to be done, guys? Is it a problem? Is it not a problem? Like, check Vash out. <laughs> Fair play, 42 million. Limp, 42. I believe it's 30 to 40 percent. I believe it's about 75 percent, man. Casino did that. Oh, it's possible. It's it's possible, dude. It's possible. Like, look, we went uh, we went zero to five million inside like two hours, right? We done it in a in a in a stream. I think it was four hours actually. We went zero to five million in four hours. It's possible, but it's not it's not likely. <laughs> like, it's not likely. 25 million, I've grinded my arse off. But to the point, I'm going to do this blitz rotation, but I'm going to do it begrudgingly. Like, because I don't really want to... I literally... I'm going to hit these milestones, and then we're done. We're, we're done. It's literal cheating. Is it cheating? Because, right, so for example, if I started the game today... And I'm not arguing for or against. I might, I might, I might be playing devil's advocate here a little bit, right? But if I started the game today with a brand new roster and I buy a blitz bot, right? So I buy a blitz bot and I use that blitz bot to run for it with a brand new account. It's not actually going to get anywhere, right? It's not actually going to get anywhere because of my roster size, right? Like, it's because it's a brand new roster, I'm never going to make the top 2,000. Even if my blitz teams could go 24-7, they're not going to be able to hit that type of number. Full stop. It's not happening. So, what's to, like? So what's to be done about a blitz bot? Like, if we add an auto function in, if we add an auto function in, then surely just all of the top guys are going to use it. Right, for everything. Using a third-party program to gain an unfair advantage. Yeah, I get that. Three rotations a day should net uh, you three times your total collection power. Is that going off everything that you use like are you using your whole collection power at that point or are you just using like the 20 teams for example so i don't use my whole collection power i use my save teams and that's it i, I can't be bothered to go through and pick out the rest of them If 
Posted an option, set his milestones. Okay, so you know that you've got to hit 20 million for the 85 shards or something. Okay. Yo, Wiggy Wolf, what's going on, man? How are we doing? Okay, would that not just encourage more people to pick up a blitz bot and say, right, we need to hit 18 million. I'm going to leave my bot on until we hit 18 million. Like, so that would be the same thing, right? Yes yeah, so and no, does it matter? He won't be winning the Euro Expert. I like that. I like that. Blitzbot made me stop blitzing. And Wiki Wolf, you were a hardcore blitzer, right? You were a hard, hardcore blitzer. Like, most of the time, top 100, like... You, you, you're a beast, dude, when it comes to blitzing. You're a beast. So you d you don't actually blitz now as a result of the blitz bot. Yeah, well, I've actually finished, like, 2005th before. Like, I've finished outside of the top 2,000, but so negligibly, like, so, like, by a couple of points where I was like, I don't know if I ever want to fucking blitz again. Like, ever. Like, ever want to blitz again. It was so close, yet so far... And I'd grinded so hard that it broke my little heart. Like, gutted. I've no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> no, we, we're talking about this game. Basically, there's a mode. What I'm doing at the moment, Raven, is a mode called Blitz. Now, love it or hate it, Blitz is actually quite an important part of the game because that's how you get a great deal of character shards, how you get a great deal of gold, how you level up the newer characters. Um, when they first come into the game, they release them via this Blitz which is like a tournament across all of the players. So you have your milestones, and then you have rewards based on how well you do in this tournament. Now, unfortunately, there's a bot that has come out that will basically do this tournament for you 24-7 while you're asleep. It will just auto through all your fights. You might win some, you might lose some, and all that, but it will just continuously go in. And the, the theory is... By them autoing all of them fights, it's going to give them a huge advantage over someone that's only doing it two or three times a day. Yeah, all the salt. Like yesterday, I, I, I literally, literally, guys, managed to get the milestones on both the uh, both the orbs. I managed to get the milestones, and that that was me done. Like I literally halfway through my like rotation on the red stars. I went over to uh, premium because I hit the milestone and I was like, I can't be bothered. <laughs> That's how much I blitzed for Corvus. Right. And now thinking about having to do that Corvus blitz all over again on Thursday for the sake of 50 shards, call it. I don't know if I want to go down that route. I don't know if I want to, I don't know if I want to partay like that. Yo, Cassius, always appreciate the lurk, my brother. I tell you what, this is this team is proving to be a bit of a beast. This uh, this Corvus Proxima combo now is spicy. It's spicy. That's ideal for me. I like it. I like it. I only do milestones from now on. Have you always done milestones, or is that like? Is that a conscious decision because of time, or is that anything to do with the Blitz boss? So what is your, and especially if you're watching on YouTube, guys, as well, let me know what your, you know what, I'm probably going to do a whole separate video on this. Probably going to do a whole separate video on this tonight, actually. But if you are watching on YouTube, still feel free to leave, leave a comment on how you're doing with the Blitzing. If or if not, you're going harder as a result of it. And I've got a couple million, but now it's a pipe dream. Yeah, well, that's the thing, isn't it? Like, a couple of million used to be enough for a top 5% or a top 10% or whatever. Now, if you're looking at 25 million to finish in the top 2,000, <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous. That's ridiculous.
Like, that's taking over your soul a little bit, you know? Yo, Wolf's mate, what's going on, man? Stay safe out there, dude. Stay safe out there. Let me see the footage once it's done, but stay safe out there, dude. Looking forward to seeing it, Wolfsbane. Looking forward to seeing it. Yeah, I feel I feel like the I feel like the the blitz bots are definitely causing a big issue. But how do you combat it, guys? So right, so the milestones are an idea. So instead of instead of a, a leaderboard, for example, let's set ten million. Let's set twenty million. Let's set twenty five million. Let's set 30 million, for example. Like, these are rough rough things, right? So if you get 30 million, but would that not just encourage everyone to go, boom? Only blitzed enough. So I blitzed enough at uh, 5-1. Yeah, I blitzed enough for top 2,000, but you don't know where enough for top 2,000 is, right? So I carried on blitzing, and I managed to finish in the top 1,000, but to the point, to the detriment, where now I don't really want to blitz this week. Easiest way of killing blitz bots, disable auto in blitz battles. Okay, but I use auto a lot. Like, even when I'm streaming, I use auto a lot. Like, now, for example, like, I'm chatting away, still doing the blitz, but I know I'm going to win this fight. Would that not then just hurt other players that are doing it properly? How about a better release mechanism for releasing characters? I'd like to see characters come back in raid. I always thought that was a really fun mechanic when you bring characters out via a raid um, situation. That's absolutely awesome. They'll just auto the bot and work the same. Longer cooldowns could work. But say, for example, like longer cooldown. So, for example, we go to a six-hour cooldown, right? In all fairness, most of us are only going to be able to get two rotations in a day because of sleep, because of work, because of commitments. A blitz bot will still get the four rotations in a day, won't it? You know, like that's... A longer cooldown's not going to battle this problem. Limit on how many autos you can do in a row. But if my understanding is correct... The bot cycles through your teams and picks out the next team, right? So it would just I don't think I don't think auto would actually break it. I think they'd just work out a way to press the skills. I don't think that I don't think even auto would break it. Uh, should I get 10 plus YouTube notifications about the same thing? On what? Uh, any Marvel Strike Force video doing today on YouTube that you can't talk about? Uh, there, there is, but I'm probably not going to do it, Wiki. I'm probably not going to do it. The, like, because the thing is, <laughs> like, the thing is, when we all get the information that we're not allowed to talk about, and we all release it at the same time, mine don't really pick up that much traction. So it's like the people that watch it. Are you guys, you know what I mean? But you've already seen it from three or four different sources already. So I'm probably going to wait till it just comes in game and do a bit of a different video. So for example, like, um, if and when someone gets released, like, because once this starts, we know that there's going to be, we're going to be able to see a kit, right? We know that someone's going to be down here and we're going to be able to see a kit. So I'll probably do a video then. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't really feel like that's my, like, traction on on releasing the same videos as everyone else at the same time i just don't feel like i make any headway that are doing it that way you know what i mean i feel like i need to i need to alter what i'm doing with my one maintenance today most likely taskmaster will be added to the roster i will assume that taskmaster and the rest of the black order will be added i don't see i can talk about this because i've not actually read any of the fucking nda shit <laughs> no, I've not actually looked at any of it. So I'm assuming that Taskmaster and the rest of the Black Order should come in as a 
as a picture where we can see their skills and stuff like that. Another thing with the um, with the, the the Envoy program at the moment where we're all getting the information and stuff is it's actually really hard for them to do the videos and release the videos to us like they normally do. So, if, because everyone's working from home, and that's one thing, guys, you got to work, you got to keep in mind, where all these gaming companies are all working from home at the moment, right? And it is a little bit trickier to do things the way they normally do it and stuff like that. you got to cut, cut, cut them a little bit of slack. So I'm going to alter my videos for the foreseeable future while this is going on and try and be a little bit more reactive when they come out. So I'm, I want to, when the to buy or not to buy videos come out again, I want to be the first one. You know, I want to be the first one. I want to be quickest with that type of thing. Um, but we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I, I would imagine the, uh, I would imagine, to, well, I'm sure Taskmaster's coming out because of all the new artwork and stuff like that that we've seen in game. Um, and then I would imagine that the rest of the Black Order gets added because we know that, what, the Blitz is meant to be, sorry, the, the legendary event is meant to be at the end of this month, is it not? So I would imagine that's happening soon. Twenty seventh. There we go. Don't forget, post more OnlyFans content. You know it, baby. You know it. Yo, Mago, lurking off to work, dude. Thank you very much for that lurk, man. Super appreciate it. But yeah, I'll, I'll put my hands up. I'm actually staying out of the uh, the Envoy Discord a little bit more at the moment. Just trying to avoid it like the plague. <laughs> feel like with with like you know like when you're in lockdown and stuff like that you know like look we're all dealing with things differently and i'm a little bit i'm a little bit snappier than i normally am you know what i mean <laughs> a little bit like a <laughs> couple of people grinding my goodness Met a guy mentally, I'm in a really good place, so everything's great at the moment. Check you out, girl. How is so... Don't, 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 tell me to mind my own fucking business if you don't want to talk about it, Raven. But how is, like, dating and just, like, starting off that whole dating thing during lockdown? Like, that must be super tough, right? Tell me to mind my own business. <laughs> There was a thing on the radio, right? There was a thing on the radio the other day. And um, we went up to see the little one over the, um, over the weekend, right? So my missus had a, had a little one previous relationship. Jess, she's, ne gonna, she's nearly going to be 14, man. But she's been staying with her dad because they're outside of London. He works from home. It's just a lot safer for Jess to be living with him at the moment than it is living with her. So we drove up there on Sunday to see her. Obviously, all social distancing and all that was observed, but it's also very, very difficult for a kid to work out why she can't see her mum every day and stuff like that. So we drove up there to uh, to see Jess on um, on Sunday, right? And uh, spent a bit of time with her up there and everything like that. Obviously, still really awkward because you can't give her a cuddle or anything like that. You know what I mean? You've got to stay back and everything like that. But, yeah, it's just, it's just all shades of crazy, isn't it? Just all shades of crazy. But the point I was getting at, sorry, I lost my train of thought there. On the way back, there was a thing on the radio on dealing with breakups during lockdown. And all these people started phoning up about breakup stories during lockdown and stuff like that. I was like, this is the most depressing fucking radio station I've ever listened to in my life. Like, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. We're planning on going hiking with our dogs following some distance and rules of course, yeah, right. <laughs> Avoiding stuff like the plague if it's stressing me out. 100% grumpy, like 100%. There's one or two people that I just feel like going, honestly, mate, sort yourself out. The world don't owe you anything. You're moaning miserable twats. But then I think, probably shouldn't say that. Don't become a keyboard warrior, Shanks. <laughs> 
Yeah, super, super like, silently raging. <laughs> Why are you still using the OG Brotherhood? The new one is much better. Xenocide, you fancy lending me like three, maybe four million gold so I can level up my other, my other Brotherhood, man. <laughs> fancy, fancy lending me the four million gold and I'll do it right now. I'll pay you back one gold a week. <laughs> All right, so you wouldn't have actually met him without quarantine. That's interesting. Got so much time to learn new things. I think, you, you know, what? it's all about the way you tackle it, right? It's all about the way that you tackle it. Actually managed to hoard five orbs. Check your bad self out. Yo, Big Al Beto, what's cooking good looking? Unless you want to buy me a new keyboard. Mm, 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 mm. Enjoy them hot wings, baby. You know what? Ever since I grew a beard, true story, I don't eat meat off the bone. I never really liked eating meat off the bone anyway. But now that I grew a beard, like, it just gets everywhere. And I just can't do it. Can't, especially in public. Oh, my days. There's nothing worse. There's nothing worse than eating meat off the bone in public. Dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. You feel like you need to go take a shower immediately. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> Don't down at me, but yeah, I, I, need, I still need gold, man. Still need gold badly. I'm saving up all my gold at the moment for Black Order. Like the way that they, the way that they've hyped this team out, the way that I've seen the kit and everything like that, and heard the rumors and talked about this and this and this and this. I think Black Order is just going to be beastly now. Don't get me wrong, if they turn out like the Wakandan team or anything like that, you can all go, ha ha, told you so. But at the moment, I'm putting all my eggs in the Black Order basket, just in case. Just in case. I am, I know I mean I'm going in. I'll show you my uh, show you my Black Order team at the moment in a second. Yo, Kenobi, what is cooking good looking? How are we doing, dude? Let's get this uh, Let's get this raid done, boys and girls. We need some more units in. PvP's coming up. Exclamation mark battle after this one, boys and girls. You know the drill. Get some units in. I'm going to keep on running the tank. Because I want to level up the tank for when PvP comes around. Puggers in the chat. Give you all the gold because I'm nice like that. Sir Nails takes the random rewards. Going into the monster mash. Didn't say monster mash at all. It was the monster battle. But monster mash sounded far cooler in my head. Let's do it. I'm on my first run of DD2, and Hello is a beast. Hello is a beast, man. Hello is a straight up beast. I was seriously considering six red star in her for quite some time. I didn't. I chose Phoenix instead, but Hello is a beast. What's uh, what's your favourite game that you've been playing so far? Gold medal. What is cooking? Good looking. How the devil are you, baby? PvP is today. I think PvP on um, thing is, I'm going to say Thursday, dude. I think like tomorrow slash Thursday. I think they started tomorrow at some point for like 24 hours. So it will, it will go into Thursday, I think. So we've got a new game to check out later, guys. What we're probably going to do is Marvel Strike Force. Then we're going to jump into a little bit of Raid. Then we're going to jump into maybe a little bit of Tarkov or straight into this new game. I've not yet decided. Uh, checking out Dead Space. Dead Side. Dead Space? Dead, si Dead Side. It's a little bit like Tarkov slash Rust slash... I don't know. It, it seems pretty cool. Really struggling to decide. I went with Phoenix, man. And I regret nothing. But I think I could have gone with Hello and regretted nothing. <laughs> it's a tough one, dude. It's a tough one. Uh, let's go here. Use my promotions on Black Bolt. I'd use my promotion credits on Black Bolt and Phoenix. And I've got 150 saved up and I'm going to be taking Thanos to five stars now. 
So my Thanos is now on four star. I brought the fourth star for him. I'm going to be using the next um, upgrade to take him up to six, uh, sorry, five stars. Um, that will be most of my Black Order um, around the the four to five red star mark. He's a beast, Thanos. I'm telling you, man, I'm going in on Black Order, dude. I'm going in on Black Order for the foreseeable future. New uh, Borderlands 3 DLCs, then uh, Dying Light, nice. We played Bioshock games. I only played Bioshock for the first time, like a couple of weeks back. Quit Warframe, uninstalled it. What, for good? That's it? JD, job done, done and dusted? Yeah? Uh-oh. Saying that, I've hardly played any Warframe for God knows how long. Oh, sweet. It just got paid for that uh, that sponsorship we'd done ages ago. It's nice. Have you played The Division? Funny, literally, I just got paid for it. No, was it? No, I got paid the other day for a Division sponsorship. I have played The Division 1 and 2, man. I don't know what it is. I just, I just don't get hooked on The Division. I, I like The Division. It's super cool. But it just doesn't hook me. I don't know why. I think the division, I think I would have got a lot more hooked on the division had it come at a better time. So I was already super hooked on Tarkov, right? And yeah, I just I feel like the division for me come at a bad time personally. Raven, I'm totally with you, girl. Totally, totally, totally with you. When another big update comes around, I might check it out. Um, but as far as like, oh, we released a new Warframe, doesn't doesn't really interest me all that much. I think if it had come out now, that would have been ugly. I feel like if it had come out now, right, because we're waiting for, um, we're waiting for like the wipe and stuff like that. I feel like I would have had a lot more time for it. But it dropped when all I want to do is play Tarkov. And the second the wipe happens again, don't get me wrong, guys, all I'm going to want to do is play Targon. Um So, yeah, it, it just come at a bad time, I think. Like, now would have been the optimal time for it to drop. Like, it would have been the optimal time for it to drop. For me, personally. Still haven't finished Warlords in New York? No, I've finished bits of it. Like, I think I nearly got... I don't know. No, I haven't finished it either. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Uh, how can me try to try to justify why I haven't finished it? What a loser! <laughs> oh dear! I'm trying to justify it to myself and you lot while I why I haven't finished it. Like, what the fuck am I doing? I feel like Warframe's in a in a super weird spot at the moment. Just a super weird spot. I am all over Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Like I cannot wait for that to come out. I am all over that. Ulysses Clue has a stream. Cool beans. Yo, John, what's going on, man? John Wayne died a virgin. What a name. What a name. Why on earth would you think that? Oh, going through the whole, like, 100% thing. I haven't 100%ed a game for ages. What's the last game you guys platinumed, like, proper 100%ed? I think mine was... What's that zombie game? That zombie game where you do all the crazy crafting of the weapons and shit like that. Dead Rising, Dead Rising. Not the newest one, the one before that, like Dead Rising 4 or some shit. 
Spider-Man PS4. Spider-Man on PS4 was awesome, dude. Absolutely awesome. Trader got me really hyped over Valhalla. Yeah, I'm all over that. Only games I completed with Fallout 4 and Skyrim. Yep, yeah, platinum both of them. You know what? I don't think I actually went back and played any of the add-ons, dude. Maybe I'll uh, maybe I need to look into that. Maybe Halo Reach was my last one. That's some time ago, isn't it? Yeah, saying that mine some time ago and all the she I was like, where was I living at the time? I think I just got the Xbox. And I was living up in Finchley. And like literally it was my only game on the Xbox. Like my only game. So I had like no choice but to either platinum that or like not play. <laughs> but she Then I got then I got like Rain Man or something some shit like that. And I platinum that as well, because again, it was my only game. <laughs> you play shirtless with blue warper. I could do that. Yeah, we could do a Viking cosplay stream, man. Could do a Viking cosplay stream when it drops. Big moment for me. Just hit Demon Lord for over 350k in one run. Get in there. I like it. I like it a lot. Do you still play Warframe? Very, very, very rarely, Fireman. Funny enough, we were literally just talking about that, dude. I, um, I'll, I'll probably play it again next time a, a big drop comes in. But at the moment, there's, there's nothing for me to really jump back in. Demonetized at once. What? Me and, me and a Viking cosplay? What are you talking about? How about you, Fireman? Do you still play Warframe? Claim that energy, claim that, claim that. Haven't been on in Twitch in a bit and used to watch you a lot. Well, welcome back to Twitch, dude. Welcome back to Twitch. Yeah, so, yeah, it, like, look, I'm still a Warframe partner. Still love the game, but I'm a little bit burnt out of it. Put my hands up. And I would much rather jump around a few different directories, have some fun. We play a lot of Tarkov at the moment, dude. A lot of Escape from Tarkov. We're going to be checking out a new game, Dead Side, today. You bring Lagatha, I watch the stream. <laughs> if I bring Lagatha, that would be demonetized. She, that'd be monetized content on a whole different website. Legends of Rune Terror, trying to open my mind more about games. I like it. I like it a lot. I've not played any Valorant. I've not played any Valorant at all. I've heard mixed things about it. Some people super enjoying it. Other people just not interested. I think I fall into that. And, uh, ends with a hub. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, we need that. And we need more damage. Catalyst. Uh, all right. Pop. Pop. So we're going to be checking out Dead Side today. What we'll probably do is go Raid Shadow Legends, Escape from Tarkov, then Dead Side. Might just do an hour, hour or two on each. See how it goes. Jump around a little bit, a little bit, whoa, a little bit, way, a little bit over here, a little bit over there. And we'll see how we go. See how we did all. Right, so we are, let's have a little recap. We're number one in the arena. We got smashed in Dark Dimension. We've uh, completed a Blitz rotation and managed to get all the rewards. I will do two Blitzes a day now for the next two days, and that is it. <coughs> oh, yeah, like, I, I mean like a big content drop, 100 million percent. I'm with you, Raven, 100 million percent. I still love the game. I still love the community. It's just I'm a little bit burnt out. I put a lot of hours into it. What's my arena team? My arena team, as things stand, both offense and defense, is Ultron, Black Bolt, Yo-Yo, Phoenix, and Falcon. Um, quite re high red stars on all of them. We got five red stars on Yo-Yo, six on Black Bolt, six on Phoenix, seven on Falcon, none on Ultron. Um, but even without the red stars, they do just do absolute huge amounts of damage. Um... For defense, they they play fairly well. Um, but for offense, you use Falcon Special instead of his ult on turn one. And you pretty much won, depending on who they've got. And depending if they've got a Mr. Sinister. And if their Mr. Sinister clones your Phoenix, that can be the only iffy team. If a Mr. Sinister 
AI clones my Phoenix. That can sometimes go a bit wrong. Uh, Alliance War will be later. We might even come back live and do that stream that I've been talking about later. Same as mine, except I use Hello in place of Falcon. I like that. Carry on with the Dark Dimension 3 tomorrow. We've got Smash. We've done that. Alliance Raids. Let's have a little look. Um, our team's 100%. We can't move any further in that. And we're at 80%. We actually managed 100%, guys. We managed 100% in U7 the other day. How far are you in Dark Dimension 3? Uh, no, 3, dude. I, I'm hating it. I'm hating it. Um, yeah, we actually 100% in U7 the other day. <coughs> Excuse me. We decided on Friday that we'd, uh, we'd push, see how far we could make it. We actually 100%ed it. I think what we'll do, we'll probably do one attack. We'll probably lose this node, but whatever. I'm on the second node. Yeah, I'm on the third, man. I'm not enjoying it at all. At all. Just seems like a race to get Phoenix killed and then her to drain a little bit of health. You know what I mean? Crazy. A runny dude! Thank you very much for that follow, man. Welcome on into the Wolfpack, the home of beards, banter, and below average gameplay. How are you getting on today? Dark Dimension 3 is a stupid game mode. Yeah, it's fucking dark, man. But like, there doesn't seem to be any rhyme nor reason to it. It's literally just everyone getting one-shotted. It's just daft. Just daft. Uh, Blade Liger. Hey, you cool cats and kittens. <laughs> Thank you very much for that follow, man. Welcome on into the Wolfpack, baby. The home of beards, banter, and below average gameplay. Guys, can we get a warm welcome in for Yil, a runny dude, and Liger. Get some welcomes in the chat. A YouTube video from uh, Duratik on Dark Dimension 3 claiming the third node is in the heart. It, it, it's just fucking stupid, man. Like These are all high red stars, gear tier 14 characters, and they're all getting one-shotted. Like, how's that fun? How's that like, yeah, this is really cool. Everyone's just getting one-shotted. Like, what's the point? It's so ridiculous. And it's not like you can go, oh, you put a little bit more gear into that one. Oh, that will do better. You can't. The top rank, top gear, they're getting one-shotted. <laughs> it's stupid, man. Like, Dark Dimension 3 is a stupid, stupid game mode. I'm a little bit worried about losing Scientist Supreme here. Yo, Drift's in coming in there, gifting out a sub to the gold medal. Drift, appreciate the hell out of you, my man. The gold medal, hope you enjoy that sub, baby. This is where ISO 8 would help 100 million percent. 100 million percent. But are we still get in ISO 8. Like, that's gone off the boil massively, right? No one's mentioned ISO 8 for quite some bloody time now, man. Like, no one's mentioned it at all. We're getting battered here, boys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, just Ethan trying to get a hype train started. Coming in there with 100 bits. Absolute bloody legend. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We love the bits. Big bits, small bits. I'm loving all bits. All right, we go there, there, and there. Now we're getting bad. I feel like this team, I would meet, I'd be miles better to throw in a dummy team on this node. Like, throw in an X-Men and then and then chuck it in, you know what I mean? Throw in an X-Men and then throw in your main team would be, would be my suggestion for that one. I haven't been able to one-shot that node. Or anywhere bloody near. Well, harder. This is not a scam. This is not a scam. A runny dude has come in there without Twitch Prime, you absolute bloody legend. And that started a hype train. Ow, woo! <laughs> you have a limited time to earn exclusive emotes. We are 55% way through a hype train. All aboard! All right, what else we got to do? What else we got to do? Holy moly. Choo-choo, Thomas. 
<laughs> you absolute bloody nuts. Thank you for that support, man. You crazy, crazy mofos. Um, all right, starts in three days. I'm really enjoying this. Really enjoying this. This is absolutely ridiculous. But other than that, it's really, really cool uh, that we get a huge amount of resources. Right, it's just Ethan coming in there with the 200 bits. Hey, you guys! You know I make this shit look good. You know I make this shit look good. Say what? <laughs> oh, yeah. I wonder, I wonder if we go, if we go like that, will that stay? Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. The name's Dread. Judge Dread. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That's too cool. <laughs> Let me cheers and bits too. Check his bank account. Oh, wait. Broke story of my life, baby. Story of my life. Oh, Lee Moly. Could you imagine? I feel like Iron Man right now. Sweet bite, bro. Let's get away. We, we've got to get away before John Wick gets here. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, um, what were we doing? You've thrown me off. Good damn it. We just throw in another team. Just throw in another team. We're just throwing a team to die. Now that we've lost all the main guys. You look more like Judge Dredd than Iron Man. I feel like Judge Dredd, dude. What's Judge Dredd's partner called? What was Judge Dredd's partner called? I can't remember. Where's my X-Men? I need to sort that team out. I know they're all like all over the place right now with uh, with power levels and all that type of stuff. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Can we hit level two of the hype train, boys and girls? Can we hit level two? These hype trains are crazy. Absolute crazy. I love them. All right. Um, we're going to go invisible there. We're probably going to get beat up quite badly here. I can't imagine doing incredibly well. I need help. I need a dollar, dollar, dollar. She'll set me free. Won't you share with me your story? No, won't you share with me your dollar? Let me share my story with you. <laughs> Yo, right, just even coming in there with the 300 bits. What on earth is this? This is how my beard's growing, guys. This is actually how my beard is. This is what quarantine does. This is what this is what the stress of streaming does to you. All right. I'm only 17. <laughs> you shall not pass. It's the stress of that's the stress of streaming. Gandalf the old. Not even Gandalf the grey. I'm just Gandalf the old. Alright, sit it big. Sit it big. we got one minute. Can we hit level two? Appreciate the hell out of all the support anyway, guys. You absolute bloody legends. I don't care what the rest say about you. You're alright by me, chat. Apart from maybe you. Still, still questionable about you. The rest of yous, you're all right. What Jim would look like with more hair and a hat. <laughs> wow. Wow. Someone, someone clip that and send it to Backyardis. I think he just pointed at me, like, I'm naming no names or pointing no fingers. But you. You know who you are. Righteous heathen. Coming in there with the 400 bits. Dude, you want to try the 420 bits? <laughs> you want to try the 420 bits? Get a really cool emote thing. Absolute bloody legend, man. Thank you so much for the bits. And that is level one of the hype train completed. Guys, get some bloody hype in chat for Righteous Heathen, the absolute ledge. Absolute bloody ledge. Right. We are all shades to beat up on pretty much everything we can do at the moment, right? I'm not going to throw any more teams at U7. 
What I should have done is throw the X-Men team, then my main team. That would have done miles better. We were all cleared on that. I can't do it alone. It'll be a song, that. What does that look like? <laughs> I feel like Roger Rabbit. Caw. Caw. That Roger Rabbit was one lucky rabbit, baby. That Roger Rabbit was one lucky rabbit. Anyway, let's say no more about all that. Family-friendly stream, people. Family-friendly stream. Get your mind out of the gutter. Because he got to work with Bob Hoskins, all right? <laughs> We've got actually no advanced basic catalyst left at all. Like, zero, none, five. Uh, we're going to have to buy them. Right, let me show you guys my Black Order team. This is what I mean. What I'm talking, I'm talking about Jessica Jones. Jessica Jones. Jessica Jones is a defender, dude. What are you talking about? I'm talking about Roger Rabbit. Hey, gents, when you plan on doing roster reviews again? Whenever anyone reaches out, dude. So I charge for the roster reviews, bro. Because they take out quite a lot of time. And honestly, the, one of the main reasons that I started charging for them is... I've done a couple of roster reviews. People didn't even fucking get back and say, oh, yeah, cheers for that. Thanks for that. It's like, sweet, yeah, I just took out two hours out of my day for not even a cheers, mate. Like, right, behave yourself. So I've actually started charging for them. So uh, my diary's open at the moment, if anyone wants one. Uh, diary's open at the moment. Uh, 66K for Proxima. We're on uh, 50K for Corvus. We're going to need 1.2 million to take up uh, no, 1.6 million. Take them both up to 75. And then we've got to save some gold again. I think we might do it, right? So, Proxima is actually at 7775. We went in a little bit. We went in a little bit, you know what I'm saying? And then uh, we've got Corvus, who's at 7665. I don't think Corvus's extra abilities there make up a huge amount of difference. But this Shadow Slash, always getting um, a hand from Proxima... And Proxima always getting a hand from Corvus. These two knock out some damage together. All right, what do you guys reckon, guys? Should we just take them both up to level 75? Should we just spend the rest of our pennies? Should we just spend the rest of our dough and just get them up to level 75, get over and done with? What do you reckon? What do you reckon, chat? I'm leaving it, I'm leaving it in your hands right now. Do we just spend the 1.6 million and get them both up to 75? I need to see yays or nays. Yeah, do it. You don't even play the game. <laughs> Treat myself to a roster review once money is a bit better. Exactly that, man. And honestly, like this is why I'm super appreciated for all the support at the moment, right? The economic times are fucking crazy right now, right? Absolutely crazy. And I totally, totally, totally understand that it, it's real difficult, right? And that's why, like, don't ever feel obliged to sub or give subs or cheer or anything like that. You know, if you've got a free Twitch Prime and want to drop it over here, I super appreciate it. But never feel, never feel obliged. Especially, I know how crazy the world is right now, guys. I'm trade bits, bits. Do you think they're worth it? I think they're worth it. At least uh, 74, though. Might as well make him 75, right? Just might as well make him 75. You, you, you guys want me to do it? You guys want me to do it? I'll do it. 68k. Proxima's up to 75. We're gonna we're gonna be going in on this team, guys. We're gonna be going in on this team. Like the Black Order is meant to be the craziness. We're going in. 52, 68. We're getting there, boys and girls. We're getting there. So we're gonna we've also with our Thanos. Our Thanos is at like 60. He's at level 75, but I think he's like 60 odd K now. Oh no, he's 80 odd K. Holy shit! Chunks comes in. Chunks comes in and just goes slap! Have some of that for your hype train. And gifts five subs to the community, you absolute bloody legend. King Leo, uh, Carnelolian, Zuzu, you cardmaster, uh, Nick Knock Sawyer, and uh, Stringy. All getting gifted subs there, you absolute bloody legends. That is level two of the hype train. Oh, what are you guys doing? Absolute insanity. What is going on right now? What is going on? Jabeef! <laughs> yeah, jabroni. Thank you very much for that follow, man. Welcome on into the Wolfpack, baby. The home of beards, banter. And you guessed it, below average gameplay. Don't judge me. How are you getting on today? So, yeah, Thanos is like 80. Uh, he's gear tier 13. We're going to take him up to a fifth star. So, I've got, I've got them all saved up, ready to go, right? I've got all my... 
I've got all my stuff ready, saved up, ready to go. When he comes there, bop! Five stars on Thanos. Black Order's going to be a beast. Black Order's going to be a beast. Give me them Spider-Man shards, baby. Give me them Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Does whatever a spider pig can. Right, just talked me into it. I saw 20 seconds left and had to do it. You absolute bloody legend, man. Absolute bloody legend. You crazy. Did you pick up that game, Trunks? Did you pick up that uh, that dead side? Dead so it is called dead side, right? It's called dead side. Two levels left. Let me grab it now. Yeah, man. We need Master Jedi to tell us what the uh, what the password is for our server. We have a server on dead side. Shanksy's like community server. And I don't know the password for it. Because I'm not to be trusted with this type of information, apparently. You know? Hey, it's only my name on it! <laughs> Yo, dude, what's going on, baby? How we doing? Finally going to get to see Ebony Moore's full kit tonight. Very much looking forward to that. Hopefully, man. Yeah, hopefully. If we do, I'll, get, I'll release a video on it. It'll probably be after everyone's already released their videos and all that. So check out everyone else's videos first because they'll release it first. Because, yeah, I couldn't be bothered to read the NDA stuff and... I also thought that eh, we can't really be bothered to all release the same video at the goddamn same time. Was my theory. Was my theory. I think I'm starting to think that I won't get any my pizza today. Didn't you order it just like 50 minutes ago, girl? Well, have patience. Have patience. Patience is a virtue. Have it if you can. You'll find it in a woman, but never in a man. My nan used to say that to me. Then I watch a man. <laughs> right, what are we doing now, guys? Should we jump over the raid? Jump over to a little bit of rage. We jump over to a little bit of Tarkov. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Might need to make a cup of tea. Once this hype train, once this crazy hype train's over in two minutes, I'm going to make a cup of tea because I'm gasping. Gasping. Over one hour ago. Wait, 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 wait. Which one did you get? I don't know. It cost me like 22 quid or something. It was like a supporters package or something. I loaded it up earlier just to make sure. Yeah, it was like it was like twenty. I think it was like twenty-two quid. It was like twenty-two quid. It cost me the game. How do you have four hundred and seventy-five unopened orbs? Laziness, predominantly. Uh, so right, I will open these premium orbs once I get one more, and I'll do a YouTube video. I don't know if you've seen any of my YouTube content, Jabeef. I do a lot of orb opening videos, right? So, um, this will be a YouTube video when we get 40 there. We'll do 28 red stars when a new character drops. Although, now that we're getting so many, so many um, red star orbs at the moment, I might need to start increasing the amount of red stars that we open in a, uh, in a video. Um, then, we might as well open these eight. Uh, I'm going to open these eight just for you, Jabeef. Just for you, mate. I'm going to open these eight. Righteous Heathen coming in there, gifting out three subs to the community. You absolute bloody legend. Absolute bloody legend. 48% of the hype train done. I think that means four subs and we'd, we'd, be, uh, we'd be pushed over to level four of the hype train. Say so what? You crazy, crazy, crazy people, you. $150 Red Star Orb opening video. I think so, man. I think so, because we're just getting so many like Red Stars at the moment, right? And I'm, I'm not opening that many. So we need to yeah, we need to do it, man. We need to do it. Get some sub hype in the chat. Right, she's even coming in there and setting this stream on fire. Literally setting this stream on fire. Look at this, guys. Literally setting the stream on fire. Put a lid on me. Put a lid on me. What? Level two of the hype train has been completed. You absolute bloody legends, guys. Appreciate all that support. I really do. Absolute bloody legend. Yeah, so we got five hello and the rest were trash. Choo-choo, Thomas. That does not look like a burger. But yeah, it's the gold, man. So then we got uh, 10 training orbs. I don't really need them. So I don't need to open these orbs out at all. Uh, we got ability orbs. I don't need them. So we don't need to open them orbs. We got mega orbs, right? Now, in the mega orbs, I don't need a great deal of these characters. Most of these characters that I've got are at seven stars. So I'm saving them. Till there are more characters in there that I need. Uh, the milestone orbs, same thing with the milestone orbs. Um, we've got 231 of them. 
and that will be a big bloody video when when they eventually come out and then we've got 82 ultimus orbs don't judge me chat don't judge i see i see you all judging me right now don't do it don't do, don't, don't do that to me <laughs> and these are out of pure fucking laziness basically yeah 10 meg orbs i think that i think that works out like 500 dollars worth of orbs or some shit I think they value a mega orb at like 20 quid or 25 quid or some stupid shit. <coughs> and then we got 153 blitz orbs. Because because they they don't need opening either, do they? Um, oh, we can open these orbs, I suppose. You were saving... Yeah, I'm saving for an orb opening event, right? So if they bring out another big orb opening event like the one they, they did at Christmas, I'm hitting that top bit without spending a penny. All right, I'm spitting, hitting that top bit without spending a penny. 33, you're, yeah, so like 10 mega orbs is, is worth quite a bit, man. Worth quite a bit. Bum, bum, bum. All right, we've got to go in there, sweet as. Uh, orange materials. So what I'm going to try and do, guys, right, is I've been thinking about this, and with the hype trains and stuff, I'm thinking, all right, and this is only thinking because I'm, I'm I'm not really sure on how this will work, but I'll eventually get it to work one day, sometime, somehow, someplace in the galaxy far, far away in a time long ago, um, is setting up another camera, all right, setting up another camera. And when the hype train starts... Type of doing like a disco thing. So I'm going to get some disco lights in the room. And st this is all that's going through my mind at the moment, right? This may or may not come to fruition. But we're going to get another camera set up. So you'll see like two angles. And then if the hype train starts, we'll trigger like a disco thing inside the room. Sounds pretty cool, right? If we can pull it off. Sounds pretty freaking epic, right? Sounds pretty sweet. Just humor me, chat. Say yes. Just humor me. How do you resist opening these orbs? Well, to be honest, man, I'm, I don't ne really need a lot of the stuff that's in the orbs, bro. Like, I don't need a lot of it. Like, once upon a time, when I first started playing the game, if I got something, I'd be like, oh, I need to open that immediately because I'd need it. Like, so that well, that was actually a really good drop for me. That eight, that eight carnage there is probably the best drop I've got so far. Yeah, exactly. I, I need it for content. I need, I'd, I'd much rather save it and make the content than, than just randomly open the orbs. Like, if we look at my roster, there's a great deal of them already at seven starred or ready to go to seven starred if they're not there. Like, Mr. Sinister needs some work. Uh, Ghost Rider needs one more star. The Karnak needs a miracle. But once we get past this bit, a great deal of these guys are already there or thereabouts. The opening an orb up and a lot of these characters aren't even in the orbs. So, like, opening an orb up for any of these guys is just not going to make a difference for me. Or if it does, it's such a low percentage of a chance to get anyone that I need that it, I don't know, it type of quells the, oh, I want to open the orb up. The red stars are proving to be a bit of a problem, right? The, the red stars are proving to uh, be a bit of a problem. I was scared I lost my choo-choo, Thomas. All right, because the red stars, we do have... A big, big potential to add weight to the roster, right? So that's why we need to start. Thing. How the hell am I closer to a five-star symbiote Spider-Man than you? I don't know. Spent more gold than me. <coughs> Went harder it the first time around than me. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Grind harder. Give me two seconds, guys. So, yeah, there's not an awful lot that we need. Um, I really want to get one more uh, premium orb. That's for definite. Once I get that one more premium orb, we can do the we can do a video. I, I did. I'd like to get that done by the end of the week. Um, that'd be awesome. I think there's... What day is it? We should get some premium orbs pretty soon coming up. In one of the dailies. 
Obviously, you grind harder. You obviously just you just grind harder, baby. You just grind harder. Fair play, dear man. No competition. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. I don't need to win everything. Must well harder. I really regret, though. I've got to be honest. I really regret not picking up the yo-yo offer the other day. But... We wouldn't have got her up to six stars anyway, so it's like, mm, whatever. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Grumpy. So I'll probably be able to do a premium orb opening video tomorrow. Um, and then if Taskmaster comes out tonight, or if anyone comes out tonight, then I can do the buy or not to buy video, and then I can do the red star orb opening video as well. Heard about the data mines with Minerva. No, what about the data mines with Minerva? What are they doing with Minerva? What are they doing with Min? I've got a feeling someone's going to drop tonight. I, I think it might be Taskmaster tonight. I really do. I don't know why. I like, it, it's perplexing me a little bit. They normally bring out the team, don't they? But, yeah, I, I believe it's going to be Taskmaster. The promotional charity offer to get power cores and Minerva character shards. Okay. That's pretty sweet. I like that. What is the... I don't, no one's actually confirmed a Mercury work, though. No one's actually confirmed a Mercury work. Like, don't get me wrong. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Sorry, I really can't stop coughing at the moment. I don't know what's up with me. Um, if we get a Mercury work, <laughs> shit, we got some red stars on this team, baby. We got five on Riot Guard, who's behind me. We got six on Sniper, six on Soldier, four on Lieutenant. Thanks, he has the cough, he has the virus. It was confirmed in a blog by uh, MSF, was it? Okay. All right, sweet. So it was confirmed. But, oh, all right, we've got some work to do on you, boys. Got some work to do now. Well, this is my theory will be the Mercs will be Lieutenant, Soldier, Sniper, Riot Guard, and Taskmaster will be there their guy you know taskmaster will be their graviton you know and then their red skull as it were and then these guys would all be needed to go with him i can't imagine korath bullseye deadpool or killmonger getting any type of rework with the mercs right that is going to be it for me today on Marvel Strike Force. I'm going to take a five minute break while I make myself a cup of tea. Then we're going to come back. We're going to jump into uh, a little bit of Raid Shadow Legends for about an hour or so. Uh, guys, if you've been watching this on YouTube, let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see more live episodes like this where we literally just do Marvel Strike Force live stream, shoot the breeze, and crack on with it from there. Uh, but if you have liked it, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and I shall see you on the flip side, baby. Until then, you take it easy. For those of you that are still hanging out, bear with me, and uh, I'm going to go make a cup of tea. And uh, we're going to jump into a little bit of Raid, Raid Shadow Legends. Be right back, love your faces. Tafs! Wakey, wakey, hands off, snakey. <laughs>